What up guys? So it's been a little bit since I posted. I was trying to get some footage, but uh, where I work primarily uh, got pretty crazy. We're doing seven days a week, 10 hour shifts. I work swing shifts, so uh, I don't get off till super late. Then trying to get up early to skate and film videos is a little rough. Uh, I should have like one day off here soon and then I'll catch up on everything. But uh, I've been skating a little bit with this dude, Percy. Uh, you can find him on Instagram. I'll post the link below. Um, and got my little nephew skating. He doesn't have any social media or not. But gifts get some footage of him. Um, but today, I'm going to talk a little bit about these uh, these Nikes that I got. So I was going to get the Nigel Free 2s, SBs, but Zoomies didn't have them. Um, and the braille shoes aren't out, so obviously I'm not rocking those. Um, but before I was skating the graffitis, DC graffiti court graffitis, and they still make them, but my shoes were like from a box four years ago, just sitting on a shelf. Worked out really good. They were leather. Uh, you've seen them in most of my videos, if not all of my videos. And uh, I really like them. They're very comfortable. They're a lot wider and more rounder. Uh, kind of like, you know, uh, what is it? It's a uh, Etnies has a pair um, Osiris's is kind of like that style and What is it audios or whatever that was BAM's thing from back in the day but Yeah, those were great shoes, but I wanted something a little different um, So these right here uh, They're pretty sick. I mean, I saw a couple of these at the skate park with it the other day and I was like, oh, okay, those are pretty pretty snazzy. Um, these are on sale right now. And one thing I'll say about them is, so I've skated two hours on them. And I'm hoping they break in pretty soon. They're getting a little softer. Um, I had a lot of pain kind of like right here. Uh, just because it felt like it was so narrow. Um, I loosened the laces. It seemed to help. But... After a little bit, definitely started getting used to it. One thing I noticed from switching from the one shoe to the other shoe was these shoes are a lot more narrow. So trying to figure out how I should position my feet was throwing me off a little bit. But overall, very happy with it, man. Um, my other shoes, if you went primo, anything, you could feel everything. It uh, actually was pretty annoying. These shoes, one thing that I really like is landing primo. You really don't die. Uh, so I did a bunch of heel flips yesterday. Only damage report is obviously I'm taking the, the swoosh off right here. I honestly did not expect that the last. Uh, more what I'm worried about is just the seams coming apart, which is why my other shoe didn't work. All right, I'm back. I had to turn my Roomba off. That thing was getting a little annoying. All right, so where was I? Yeah, I was just talking about the seams. I was a little worried. Um, on my other ones, I mean, I wore through the soles. They got about two sessions left in them. So I bought these. And I've been happy with them ever since. Um, another thing I kind of recommend here is I got these from Amazon. Um, they're like little elbow sleeves. I know a lot of people don't like that kind of stuff. But uh, especially with the rails, um, I like them because they're not as bulky as pads. You know, I normally only wear one. But they definitely come in with the clutch, and they have saved my ass a couple times. Alright, so <clears throat> one thing I want to talk about a little bit on these. Uh, I told you guys before, I'm rocking the Braille Ninja Series. Um, obviously, if you uh, watch my other videos, uh, I absolutely love this board. I love the concave. Everything about it. I skate Thunder 145s on this board, it's a 7.75, and I like them a lot, especially being, you know, 190 pounds, they do the trick. Um, I have Spitfires, old Spitfires, they're, they were probably like five years old, like I said, just like my shoes, they were, they were kind of in stores, just chilling, didn't really use them, they didn't have more than a couple sets on them, but these were the... Whirlpool, big heads, uh, 52 millimeters, what I skate. And these should be 99A, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I cannot find red wheels to save my life. So I'm hoping they last for a while. 
Now, one thing I did do is I swapped from bone reds, the old bone reds. Uh, apparently, people were telling me that there's a difference between the bone reds that they come that are in stores right now versus the old version of bone reds. And what I'm talking about by that, that was like, I probably got that deck and that set up like five years ago. So, is there a difference? I, I haven't bought any bone reds to verify. But, those were the China bone reds. And obviously, Bones is based out of Switzerland. And so I went and got Bone Swiss bearings. Now, Bone Reds are roughly $30. Um, there's a cheaper version that Spitfire makes that are the cheap shots for $10. I haven't tried those yet. Probably will just out of curiosity. But basically, I got these for $90, but Zoomies. Uh, gave me a hell of a deal um, They gave me 25 plus percent off So I saved a little bit of money so it was worth it um, One thing I noticed about these bearings is I have probably about Eight hours on these bearings now uh, Which They say there's no break-in period I'm gonna beg to differ because I noticed after a couple hours. I would say two hours uh, I started noticing a little bit of speed increase um, it was rolling a little smoother uh, by smoother I mean a little quieter and I did it it has this inner insert it's like an aluminum diameter tube and I was kind of like oh what is this initially because I've never had bearings with that so I installed them initially without and one thing that I noticed was uh, you know I'd keep my wheels a little loose but I noticed there was really no difference at all uh, between my old Bones Reds that I've cleaned and maintained with Bone Speed Cream versus the Swisses. And I was doing a side-by-side -side with my nephew's board who his wheels at set up is with my old bearings. And I almost felt like his were better when I first got them. After a couple hours, I noticed they were kind of the same. Um, they both roll amazing. But the biggest difference is I took the bearings back out. I put that aluminum diameter tube the way it works is I could take this off, a wheel off and show you guys, but that's a, I'm a little lazy today and I gotta go to work. But there is a tube that about yay big, circular, and how it works is you put one bearing in, you put the tube in, you put the other bearing in, so that way when you slide over your truck, apparently it's supposed to let you tighten this nut a little more, so that way you don't have to wiggle your wheels. Like I still even keep mine a little loose, but uh, when I did tighten it, it definitely, you could tighten your wheels a lot more without losing speed, right? Um, so it helps make both bearings work in unison for what it's worth. I mean, it's not going to make a difference either way, um, but in theory, that's the concept, right? They're touching both bearings on the inner races, keeping them, you know, moving to, and working together just a little bit more sturdy than you know without it because they're still gonna work together they're in the same wheel another thing that they're kind of cool though this is where I like it is it's kind of adding like a structure point right so if you keep your wheels loose or you're smacking it on the ground um, it's not gonna let your wheel flex and your bearing move inside your wheel so if you hit a side pull I mean basically it's gonna stop everything from moving and it's just going to keep it all together and prevent damage to the bearing another thing is a lot of people who do big stairs um, when you're landing it's going to give it that much more of a bracing and more surface area to disperse the weight from the bearings hopefully that'll make sense but like i said i just woke up and i'm running late and yeah so the bone swiss is uh I, I like them. I mean, they got the black shield, which is whatever. I like that Bones does that with their different bearings, uh, especially it keeps people from getting ripped off. But would I buy the Swiss Agains? I don't think so. I mean, you could buy the aluminum inserts on Amazon for like 10 bucks, eight bucks, and, and add them to any bearing, as long as they're the right size. And I don't see why they wouldn't be because skateboard bearings are pretty universal. But I don't know about roller blades or skates. 
or even, I don't know if scooters use bearings, I imagine. But just pay attention to that. And, uh, yeah. So, I will keep you in tune and we'll see how long they last. Like I said, I got about eight hours on these. But they roll smooth. You know, barely any effort. And they roll good, so. Alright, but I'm repeating myself, so I'm going to get out and, uh, Go skate a little bit before work out in my property. I'll catch you guys later.